Am I recording? I'm recording. I'm recording. Woo woo. Okay. I was told yesterday that I had a happy mail incoming. Today I have it. I got happy mail. Happy mail. Or as the sender would do, happy mail. Because she does that. She's very excitable. And this package, this box comes from Sabrina Melodus. Again, I have happy mail from Sabrina. And I'll stop taking the mick because I don't mean to be taking the mick at all. And I don't want her to think I am. Now, it's only just this minute arrived. So I haven't even got me scissors out, which is not clever. I know one thing that's in the box, two things that are in the box. But she said it's a surprise. So there's a surprise in there too. I love the fact that 10 tons of tape doesn't have to be on it. I'm opening, I'm opening, I'm opening. Look, I'm opening. Ooh. Happy mail! She told me I have to do it on camera. So let me just see if I can read this on camera. <gasps> Something just fell out! Here are some goodies for you. I hope you enjoy it all. I can't wait to see what you'll make. There should be enough to make something. We talked about certain... Oh, oh, no. Okay. I don't know how many people are going to understand this, but definitely people in the UK will know. So it says, Happy Meal! Hello, lovely Lisa, with a smiley face. Here are some goodies for you. I hope you enjoy it all. Can't wait to see what you will make with the yarn. There should be enough to make something. Now I know about yarn coming. I knew that was coming. We talked about a certain Mr. Kipling item that you had not eaten in a long time. French fancies. I could not resist getting you some. You know I'm gonna eat one on camera. Ah! I, I don't think they're gonna last the day. I don't think they're going to last the afternoon. Oh my gosh. Could not resist getting you some. And of course, Happy Mail always involves chocolate with me. So enjoy. Here are some boxes for you. Lots of yarny hugs. Sabrina Melody. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hang on, because something fell out as well. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's all falling out it's all falling out it has a mind of its own <gasps> she sent me a happy mail last week and there were more teasers in there <laughs> I'm sorry I can't help it Malteser, they say it's honeycomb, but it's got nothing to do with honeycomb, just biscuit. But what I do when I've got these, I like to do, I don't do it with all of it because I can't resist half the time, but I will really gently go and use my rotten teeth to grate off the chocolate around the edge and then I'll eat the biscuit after. I'll suck the biscuit to death afterwards <sighs> now the last happy mail that she sent me had a box and inside that box there were some buttons and there were some stitch markers and um, I'm sure there was something that I, 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 my, my brain's just completely gone. I'm sure there was something else in that box as well. 
but I showed her the box perfect for my button storage and I asked her where she got them from and how much they were and I because I knew that she was going to be sending me something again I said is there any chance you could grab me a couple and I give you the money for it and she said yes yes of course of course I can ladybird I've got to stop saying that because she's gonna hate me but she got me one these are so so flipping handy but there's another one but it's got something in it something that i've not tried so that's another one that's two and now beanie's looking at me dinky deckers <laughs> so there's a there's a um a chocolate bar here called double decker i haven't had it for a couple of decades i think let alone seen dinky versions dinky that was the name of ingrid's dog Beanie's looking at me like, what is going on? Salt. Mm. Mm, it's quite high in salt as well. Wow. Ow. Mm slightly slower and when the ulcer in the top of my mouth is gone but first I'll show you I've got I've got beanie down here just eyeing me up seeing what the heck is going on I don't even know what's going on yet let's move you back around there okay so there's another box. So she got me three boxes. <sighs> These are so useful. But this one's full too. And this one has my favourite chocolate in it. Oh, Sabrina! Mm. Dairy milk is my all-time favourite commercial chocolate buttons but these are giant buttons i never had a giant button well not to eat chocolate button oh my gosh <laughs> I so hope these last a little while. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's another one. <laughs> I've got four. <laughs> oh my gosh, Sabrina. You're so funny. You're so funny. This video is not sponsored by Cadbury's or Mr. Kipling. French fancies with Matilda on the front. I very, very, very much relate to Matilda. Why does my phone move when I go like that? Why? I don't get why the camera, that's so weird. That is so weird. Oh my god, oh my gosh, French fancy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's been decades since I had a French fancy. 
<clears throat> and you know what on camera i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it and a lot of you are gonna be shocked by this got a little nipple a little nipple a little, little nipple and it's not just the color the color represents the flavor if i remember rightly don't tell me they've changed it exceedingly good cakes Golden sponge cakes with vanilla flavour topping, covered with chocolate flavoured fondant, pink fondant ice, icing, or lemon flavour fondant. Lemon are my favourite. So little things that mean the most, like an exceedingly good cake from Mr Kipling. So, pink French fancy. Mm. <laughs> my two teeth marks. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh my gosh. Oh, it was so what I remembered. It was so what I remembered. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, Sabrina. She is trying to help me keep my figure, obviously. <laughs> oh. I, I know these aren't cheap. I know they're not the most expensive thing in the world. I'm not saying that, but I know they're not cheap. Which is why I've never gone looking for them it's very rare i do treats anyway but 100 <coughs> percent natural flavors and no artificial colors and no hydrogenated fat oh my gosh lovingly baked in britain french fancies oh sabrina and then this is something that I knew was coming she, because she asked me first. Whoops. And you're like, yeah, yeah, what is it? What is it? Well, obviously, you know it's yarn. Wool. In Britain, it's wool. And it really is wool. Serda alpaca. Oh, it's got little hairsies on it. You just about to see the hairsies. Just about to see the hairsies. Hand wash. Six millimetre needles. And how much was on it? I think we looked it up at some point. It's the colour 301 Taylor. 50 grams. 90 meters which is 98 yards now i said to her that i could probably make a cardigan out of that I've got to find a pattern oh it smells nice i bet that softens up really really nice Unique colour phase yarn. Colour phase. Colour phase. Now, how many were there again? It says one, two, three, two, four, six, eight, ten, thirteen altogether. So that should be plenty for a cardigan. I didn't know you were going to send chocolates and Mr. Kipling as well. And four boxes. Four. I 
haven't got that many buttons, but believe you me, these are gonna come in handy for other little bits. In fact, I know two of the bits already. And thankfully I can't eat these, so these will stay around a little bit longer than the chocolate. Oh, thank you so, 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 so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, French fancies. Dairy milk. I mean, Cadbury's full stop. I'm going to go. Sabrina, merci beaucoup. Merci, merci beaucoup. Um, thank you very much for watching, guys. Sabrina, huge, huge thank you to you. Of course, Sabrina's linked down below, but she knows that already. You guys might not have done, but she's down below. So this is Lisa and her happy mail disappearing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Mwah. <laughs>